We have set um, the basis for the transformation program because we booked another 600 million um, restructuring costs. That was reason number one. Um, we then also um, booked um, a TLA and increased the TLA as a top level adjustment for our LLPs um, because of the pan pandem pandemic um, to um, 505 million euros. Um, and um, we um, cleaned up our balance sheet and um, had a goodwill um, impairment um, of um, nearly 1.5 billion. And the combination of this um, led to the result in, in Q4. Let's look at the strategy. Essentially, you're downsizing the bank or you're planning on downsizing the bank tremendously. So what's the unique selling point of Commerzbank when you're done with it? Well, first of all, I think 2020 has um, shown clearly that we were able to basically keep um, our customer revenue stable. So our business model was working um, um, despite the pandemic. Um, but on the other side, we also saw this extraordinary effects on LLP revenues, um, et cetera. And what, what is clear that we need to have a different cost income ratio and we need to target cost income ratio of 60% because then we would also observe extraordinary effects as we have seen in 2020. And that's the target. So we wanna keep up the business model for our clients, make it even better um, via digitization and um, on, in, in, in parallel, um, optimize the business model and make it much more efficient. And um, we are strongly convinced that we can do that. It's an ambitious um, but doable plan. How much pressure do you feel from Berlin? Because it's obviously your biggest shareholder. It's a shareholder. Um, we have many shareholders. I mean, it's clear that our shareholders have the right um, to get a proper return on their investment. Um, and that's what we target. Um, we target a 7% ROE for 2024. Um, and that is even before any capital measures, which we think are feasible um, um, by that time. Um, and I think um, they have the same rights as um, um, any other shareholder and that is um, attractive returns. If you talk about capital measures, what do you have in, in mind? Do you have in mind capital increases or share buybacks, so which would be the reverse, of, obviously? Yeah, clearly um, the latter one. So what we think about is is a dividends on the one side, um, and 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 uh, we said that we would um, um, think about it um, for the year 2023 um, onwards, um, but also share buybacks. I mean, we have. Um, it's, it's clear that this is a very attractive instrument for our shareholders. It's clearly also subject to approval of our regulator, the ECB. However, um, if you look on our financial model and the numbers, um, you see that with a 7% ROTE, we have a capital ratio of 14.6%. Given that our MDA stands at 9.5%, that's quite a buffer. And um, given what we do with our business model, I'm pretty sure that the 9.5% will be most likely also correct in 2024. And that gives us a lot of um, um, flexibility to do capital measures. We currently um, target that for up to 3 billion, which would then bring up the ROTE to 7.8%. And you could do it either via dividends or share buybacks.